antenna this is a brand new configuration uh, never attempted before <laughs> I got my trizuka leg in and it's into an inverted L uh, uh, double bazooka so uh, uh, okay so you got seven on this one on flat side I don't think you ever had me at seven before did you Wow because I got you at about three and I and I, I definitely don't, I don't think, uh, yeah, seven is, it's a long way for seven. Do you got a preamp on? Uh, yeah, I got a preamp on. Okay, because we usually match up, I think, on reports. So, but uh, that's odd that uh, my preamp only is uh, showing seven, unless, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> unless this is a killer setup, uh, I, I could be. Like I said, it's a first, and I finally got a nice design for the trizuka leg you can add to any dipole there roger okay uh can you flip to the vertical just for grins and i'll uh, uh maybe flip back and forth to mine to see how you are in the vertical okay and i'm on my vertical now okay i'll copy Okay, I got you uh, peaking about a five there. I don't know if you're QRP today. Maybe your power's down today? Um, I got a couple of uh, local Mexicans that uh, hang out on here on the AM, so sometimes they cover you up on here. Yeah, you want to go up one? Uh, yeah, let's try up one. Okay, Mike, uh, yeah, do you have the power down today? I think I'm only peaking about 80, about 80, but yeah, I'm on the vertical now, and I got you at a solid, uh, I think, uh, peak in five. Yeah, Roger, and yeah, with a pretty small dive, I'm still getting you about a five by seven. Okay, and I'm going to go back over, back over to the uh, uh, Trizuka here on uh, three, one, and two, and three. Okay, I'm on the Trizuka. I have no copy on you working your vertical on the Trizuka, so I think I have a lot, a lot of uh, horizontal polarity, which could explain why the signal seems to be higher uh, today for you copying me out there on your, uh, your I think it's a three-element Yagi. Go flat side, go flat side. Alright, we're on the flat side now. Okay, uh, yep, I'm over on my flat side again there. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if maybe you didn't copy anything I said, but uh, I think I have a lot, a lot of flat, uh, a lot of horizontal polarization in this setup, even though it has one vertical radiator and also one now at 45 degrees, but um, yeah. Uh, I think, uh, come again with another report there on the signal, over. Yeah, yeah, you had me at a 7, a 7 on this one. Propagation did change. It did change because I now I'm copying it less, uh, less now. Uh, just under three, uh, three S units. There is, is the Yagi pointed my way. Uh, I'm up here, um, pointed uh, south. Okay, uh, you, if you can, you go southwest uh, a little bit more. Maybe then it'll match up. Uh, you started to come up on that last over. Maybe you're not in the mic enough there. Over. No way, dude. No way, man. Do you have, uh, can you record this at all? Do you have YouTube? Uh, I'm using the final software that just expired on me yesterday. I gotta try to find something else. Well, if you
if you got a laptop, uh, the software is free. You can, uh, I mean, or a computer with a camera, uh, you can upload uh, directly uh, via YouTube. Hey, Roger. Man, I can't believe it. Ten over. Ten. <laughs> Ten over. That uh, just it doesn't explain why I'm not getting you in stronger. Yeah, Roger on the four to five. But and you're kind of uh, uh, more to the southwest now. Okay, well, thank you for this checkout, uh, this test out there, Mike. I really appreciate your uh, time in that. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. Okay. So I guess we'll go back to 385, see if uh, we can stir something up. Uh, man, oh, man, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I think we're on to something here, man. Uh, if that thing is, is truly, truly going up the tent over there. Are you back on the vertical? I just flipped a vertical and you're stronger. Yeah, I just flipped a vertical because I was losing the beam. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's weird, uh, that beam, the way it's working there at times. And then you were just booming into the vertical into the mobile there uh, the other day. But, uh, man, I mean, you're, you're coming in good on the vertical. It, it just uh, really strange uh, up and down like this uh, propagation, I guess. I heard a few of them coming in there. I, I think I worked uh, one on 375. Yeah, Sunny. I worked Sunny again down there on the Outer Banks uh, uh, in the Carolinas. I don't know if you ever worked him. He hangs out on 375. He's got a, a PDL2 quad. Dude, uh, get it. Go for it, man. I, oh, man, what I'd give to have a PDL, too. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I mean, it looks nice and choice. has nice CDE uh, <laughs> rotor on it. I mean, like I said, it's just sitting there, and I know nobody talks on it. Yeah, a lot of times it's from a previous owner or whatever, and they just, they, they'd probably be, sometimes they're just happy somebody takes it down for them. They don't like looking at it. Yeah, well, if it's uh, defunct, if it's defunct, they're not using it. Hell, heck, yeah, I don't see any problem with that. Or, you know, uh, maybe write a little note and stick in the mailbox there with your phone number and say, hey, I'd like to ask you about that antenna. If, if no one's using it, uh, you know, a little, a little, a little uh, paragraph there, Roger. Could be an operator too, even though they're not using it. They're just waiting to get uh, the next antenna. Or, um, they got out of the hobby for a while, and they, they, they expect they might come back to it. Maybe you know, uh, it all depends on how they acquired it, you know. Or again, a previous owner thing. Uh, a lot of times, I guess I hear that they have deals like that all the time out in Indiana. If you're willing to go out there and maybe bring one down. Now you can bring a, a 40 foot tower back home uh, almost free, you know, except for gas and all your time, which pretty much adds up. But uh, yeah, yep, it's uh, <laughs> it's worth doing or trying, heck yeah.